I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Since I was about six, I've been the king of the lob. <laughs> what? Like, I'm the type of guy that'll get a, a rock and go five feet away from the corner of a roof. The king of the lob. Like the 11th floor. Yeah. And I won't even look down. I just go, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and take my chances. And then take the elevator down and see if there's somebody down on the floor. <laughs> or if it went through a windshield. Yeah, right. When I was a kid, I was fucking crazy, man. What were you lobbing? Rocks, pennies, whatever I could get up to that roof and get away with. You were going to kill somebody? I would throw it off the roof. I didn't give a fuck. I was crazy. I was. I did not know. I did not know. You know, you, when you're five or six and you run around, you don't know and you don't give a fuck. And then my family took me to Puerto Rico. And we, went to, and we went to fucking uh, San Juan and we got in a hotel. And the hotel was, we had like the fifth floor. And my mom and the ladies went out. It was just ladies and me and the ladies' boys. It was me. The kid's name was Johnny Crespo. And there was another kid there. I forget. We, that my moms were all friends. I had to be like seven. And when they left, I went out in the balcony and started throwing ice cubes off the fucking balcony. And I could see the island. And, you know, I would throw like 10 of them and get the timing right. You know what I'm saying? Like a couple would be walking, all of a sudden it land over here. And they look, <laughs> and they go, they go, fuck you, and they walk, you know, sideways and keep walking. So I would sit there for like ten minutes, you know, and one and that one night, right there, I threw it, and I saw the thing. <laughs> Hit this dude, and he goes <laughs> down, his wife goes down. <laughs> and I run into my room, I put the bucket in, you know, the whole fucking deal. And within like 20 minutes, they knocked on the door. And the guy got had to be taken in a stretcher, the whole fucking deal. <laughs> they measured where the ice cube could have came from. They wanted to check the balcony. They checked the balcony. Some of the ice cubes fell out, and there was water now. So they asked us to fucking leave, and they were going to press charges, and... It was a oh fucking... God. I told you, I was a devil when I was a kid, though. I was into all that shit. That was my world. Throwing shit at people and tormenting people. That was my fucking world. I don't know if you remember, but I... Like, do, you, do you have, like, a... Did you feel like it was exciting to do that? Did you know it was wrong? Like, I remember as a kid doing stupid stuff. I used to buy... My mom had a bar. And in the jukebox, there were 45s. Okay, and I lived on the third floor on 205 West 88th Street. Mm -hmm. And there used to be like a parking garage where people would park their cars and walk out. I'd be <laughs> on the third floor. But I was in the deep corner. So I would take the 45s and whiz them out my window. And they would whiz out and go down. And from time to time, you hit somebody and go, What the fuck? Like, like I would hit them with a 45 to the head. <laughs> and then I turned into, you know, once my dad and I, I thought about this when I'm, when I'm writing this book. I thought about that time period. It was a scary time period for my mom. One time I almost set the building on fire. Oh, I man. fucking went behind 88th Street and I started lighting little papers. I love doing that shit. You light one paper, you light two papers, and you push the envelope until the side of the building is on fire. And I got to tell you something, guys. To this day, I remember taking my dick out and pissing. Like, this is going to put out that fire. <laughs> that, that was your first thought, to and pee I, on it? And I peed on it, and I ran away, and I went to my room, and like 10 minutes later, I saw the fire department back there and shit, and I was giggling to myself. <laughs> I was one of those lunatics. <laughs> I was one of those crazy fucks. So much of yeah. houses burned down, and you're giggling.